as we have uh, talked a lot about uh, the uh, Ogden and Richards theory of meaning. Now we will move to the conclusion. Uh, uh, like in the article, Ogden and Richards theories are not flawless. However, they have been challenged over the years. Just like we have told, that theories are there. There are many experiments. Hote hai. People want to deny that theory. Scientists or because it's a social science uh, sciences, and we are talking about language. So linguists do it. They want to deny and um, uh, want to come up with flaws and want to improve the qualities of those theories. Uh, so uh, a, a lot of work has been already done uh, to uh, check these theories. Uh, some critics cite that while simple and definitions are important to communication, no doubt they are important. We need to have um, words with their proper definitions and uh, their contextual meanings as well. Uh, there is more to a conversation than merely what word may mean to someone. There is something else. We do not just focus on the meaning of words while talking, uh, while communicating, then what is left? Okay, let's see. The critic is speaking of non-verbal communication in that their factors at, uh, are at work uh, that can affect what a person means and non-verbal communication plays a huge role in this area. If one were to apply Ogden and Richard's semantic triangle to an interpersonal conversation, it is possible that the whole picture would fall seriously short of capturing all that is meant by a person and understood by another person. For this reason, the ability to pick up a non-verbal message becomes imperative. For example, when I say, okay, okay, you are talking, so this is non-verbal communication. Um, I do not, I, I am not using words. But I am using my hands, my gestures, my expressions. So uh, it's a non-verbal communication, and it um, uh, works a lot while communicating. Okay, uh, uh, half of the message we say that we, half of the message will convey through our words, and half of the message will convey through our non-verbal communication. So this part is not described in that uh, particular theory of Ogden and Richard. So it is the first flaw which has been found, found out. Um, from the years and years of research. Okay, second problem. Uh, another problem encountered by the critic is that words are left standing by themselves unless they are spoken in a context. It means that uh, if I am not using a word into context, uh, what I have to do with that particular word? Is that word is useless? That's it. It's not that it's useless. It's not that it's useless. It's definition that it's not useless. It's not that it's useless. एक्सप्लोर किया होता है उसकी डेफिनेशन कहीं ना कहीं तो लिखी होती है इसलिए हम ऐसे नहीं कह सकते कि जिस वर्ड को जो वर्ड कॉन्टेक्स्ट में नहीं है दैट वर्ड इज यूजलेस फॉर अस एंड वी हैव वी नीड टू डू नथिंग विद दैट वर्ड इट इज रॉन्ग सो दे से एन एग्जांपल ऑफ वी डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड प्रीवियसली इन वेयरिंग मीनिंग फॉर अ वर्ड कोल्ड व्हाट पर हैज द क्रिटिक इज फेलिंग टू रिकॉग्नाइज इज दैट uh, Ogden and Richards have identified the need to place a word in context. Thus, the creation of a definition theory. Jab it varse baat aa jati hai, words kabhi useless nahi ho sakte. Unke kahi na kahi kuch na kuch meaning hote. So, moving to the final paragraph. Uh, while one might assume that Ogden and Richards theories are not completely correct, he or she should be able to recognize the truth offered in theories. Agar hamey usme se ye kaha ja sakta hai ki koi chiz chale theek hai, wo uh, us wo flawless nahi hai. Okay. लेकिन हम जितना ट्रूथ दैट इज ऑफ आवर मीनिंग वी कैन गेट दैट ट्रूथ ऐसे तो नहीं हो सकता कि हमने कहा जी थी फ्लॉ वाली या तो हम इसमें से कुछ लेंगे ही नहीं हम अपनी चीज की जो हमें ट्रूथ जहां तक हमें थ्री ने हेल्प की वी नीड टू गेट दैट आइडिया whether or not ogden and richards claim uh, that their theories are the only answers to the problem of failing communication is moot point yakinan ye moot point hai hum isme bahut sare bahas kar chuke hain aur aage hoti bhi rahegi aur kai saalon se ho rahi hai what is fundamentally more important that the fact that through the study of ogden and richards theory scholars have been offered a new avenue from which a view communication behavior and thus have been provided a foundation upon which new theories and models can be formulated. So, this is the fact that we are talking about this. 
or during conversation uh, there are so many points which are not discussed in this theory so those are the root point where the other researchers can stand and can, can uh, come up with new ideas with new theories so we can get a new data uh, from this theory and from the other theories as well to uh, uh, to this end we might be able to grasp the seemingly infinite number of facets that affect every level of human interaction through communication in many cases uh, form a better understanding of in of uh, insurmountable realm of explanation of these interaction as well as how to best to manage them no doubt hame isse bahut sari help out mili hai aur hame is pe bhi baat karni hai ki jo log different levels pe communication karte hain kuch old hote hain kuch young hote hain kuch young young dono hote hain kuch teen age hote hain kuch children hote hain unke sath unke old jo relationships hote hain wo unse baat karte hain grand pa baat karte hain apne kids ke sath to us level pe communication ke kya kya hame requirements hain us level pe what the thing we need to understand to get that communication communication more better uh, so this was all about uh, the theory of meaning by ogden and richard so um, i think the discussion has done has been done uh, so long uh, so now we end it thank you so very much for watching my videos if you like this videos and you feel that these videos are helpful please subscribe my channel like my videos and share my videos thank you so very much